Chess friends, in computer chess games, there is always a choices openings by someone, but our today's game, there is no pre-chooses opening, Stockfish and Alpha Zero will play their own opening which they want, we have white pieces with Alpha and Stockfish is black. Let's go, Alpha played d4, we have d5, c4 by Alpha Zero, in this position I prefer you to play e6, or c6, even knight f6, bishop f5 is also good, but Stockfish here chooses to play d takes c4, we have e3, you can play like this, knight f6, but we have a6 by fish 15.1, he want to progress in queenside, c5, bishop here, knight comes to f3, e6 by black, bishop takes pawn, c5 by me, alpha played castle, knight comes to f6, your further move is knight d2, b3, bishop here, and rook c1, ok, b3 by alpha, he listen my words. Because he is a stockfish subscriber, and you can subscribe my channel to get more episodes, we have b5, bishop back to e2, knight comes to d7, a4 by alpha, superfish closed the position, alpha can play natural moves like this, so, knight goes to d2, bishop b7 by fishy, bishop b2 by alpha, bishop developed on e7, rook comes to c1, rook goes to c8, d captured pawn, knight captures pawn, I want to play like this, knight here, then knight c3, there is many supports for my knight, rook and bishop, so. Alpha played rook c4, protecting this square with the knight, and targeting this, further move is bishop here, knight here, knight e2, queen here, pressuring on the knight, so, queen comes to b6, protecting this, we have queen c2, he wants bishop e4, rook here, creating pressure to the knight, I played castle fearlessly, rook comes to c1, knight on d2, rook slides on g4, threatening the pawn with rook and bishop, so we have g6, alpha could play h4, h5, then take, threatening this, I mean try to open the g-file, queen on this line, bishop on this line, but alpha played knight c4, he didn't play h4, because of knight f6, knight will protect this and target this, knight is targeting this, his strategy is to play knight e5, then takes, if takes, then rook sacrifice, h takes rook, queen takes check, and there will be mate actually because bishop is doing a very good job here. So, you have to move your queen first, knight goes to e5, threatening this, knight comes to f6, targeting the rook, rook takes g6 isn't possible, because the bishop line is blocked by the clever knight, I will play bishop e4 supporting of knights, try to move your queen from the diagonal, so, rook slides on d4, if he successfully able to play h4, h5, then takes, takes, bishop here threatening the pawn, knight takes, queen takes, targeting the pawn, pawn takes knight then queen takes check, king here, then rook h4 will be mate. So, we have knight d5, try to protect the square. I played knight takes a5, threatening the knight, we have queen takes a5, bishop takes knight can't be happen, because of bishop e7, you will lose your material. So, back to the position, we have queen takes c5, rook takes queen, rook takes c5. You can't move your queen to anywhere, if queen b6 happen, then rook takes d5, targeting the rook and the queen, you know what, queen can't move any of these square, you will lose the game, let me show one by one, if queen c7 happen, then rook c5, queen have less squares to run, if queen a7 happen, then rook c8, targeting rook and the queen. So, if queen e7 happen, then knight c6. So, if queen b6 happen, then a5, queen d6, rook here, queen there, you will lose your bishop. So, if queen backs all the way, then it will be a fork, if queen a7, then rook here, the same variation I talked about before. So, back to the current position, in this position, we have bishop to b5, rook takes, queen up, rook on d2, he will bring his king. Alpha have rook and bishop, pawn for a queen.
g5, you can take it, and bishop takes knight is also available, alpha played g3. and this position is a draw. None can make progress, you can see the further moves in my PGN, in my description box. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching, subscribe for more, bye bye, take care, see you in my next video.